Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. We worked last time on some animations, and we are switching out your sprites for the current sprites, and uh, just kind of customizing the animations so that your character reflects what you're looking for. Um, in that process, uh, my students noticed a few things, so that brings up a couple questions here. I'll show you what I mean. We swapped out running and jumping and uh, we swapped out the melee so far and one of the things that they went about swapping out themselves is the sliding what okay well interesting it's like totally awesome dude like I'm gonna rail slide anyway you get the idea there the slide is broken here and that's the way it kind of imported with the sprite and your sprites, depending on how they are set up, may have that situation where he's not sliding on the ground. And we want to fix it. In fact, he's not really standing on the ground either, so let's fix that issue as well. Let's start with the sliding. Yeah. Take that out of play mode. And I'm going to go over to my slide animation. So I'm in my sprites, and I went down to my character that I've been swapping in here. And um, I went to the slide oh let's see where we at there we are okay so I've got 10 I've got 10 different animations for my sliding robot and um, right now all of them are set up to the same exact thing which is wrong it's um, too high on the Y value so when he slides he's above the the rail we're gonna fix that with these selected over in my inspector area here I've got a bunch of details about the sprites and they're of course 2d and UI but the one that I'm interested in is the pivot. Now, what I want to do is, by default, I believe this is listed at center, like so, and it's just not working out. So let's go ahead and go to custom, and I'm going to adjust these a little bit so that they reflect what I would like to see. So 0.35 is too high. I'm going to raise up the Y value which I know sounds backwards, but it's going to hopefully move him down here. And uh, let's go ahead and give that a try. Now, I've made a change to 10 of the sprites. I need to apply that. So I click Apply. Now let's head into the play area. And let's go ahead and try the slide. Oh, we are close. Now, he's still hovering a little bit above the ground. If I wanted to be really technically clear, I go back in, I adjust that a little bit more, get those 10 slides, and on the Y, let's say that he's at 0.55, and apply that, and try it out. Just a little, you know, trial and error here. Let's go ahead. Hey, there we go. Now, that's kind of cool because he's actually sitting and his feet are kind of overlapping the platform a little bit. Oh, that's good. Okay, not too bad. Now, if I had, uh, if I wanted to be creative with this process, um, let's say you've got a tile set that's got uh, a rougher surface. So obviously these platforms are perfectly smooth here, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But let's say he was sliding on like the ground and he'd get friction and he'd get like a bumping, a bumping motion here. I could go in here and I could take every other sprite and I think you know where I'm going with this I could take it and create that bumping motion by adjusting the pivot so I could come in here and on these only what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them back to 0 0.5 and then I'm gonna apply that now when I go ahead and I'm in the I'm in the play mode right now so these changes are not really taking place but you can see him sliding out it's a little a little kinda rugged the way he's sliding there that looks painful Anyway, you, uh, yeah, that, it, that's what you can kind of go in and do. Let's make a smaller change. Um, let's go in, and on those five, instead of 0.5, we're going to say, okay, well, 0.53, just a little bit less than the others, and apply, and then go back and play. And it take me a long time to go ahead and mess around with this, and I don't want to waste all your time on that but that's looking a little bit better probably a little bit closer would be better but yeah not too bad he's kinda of bumping along there creates kind of a fun animation while he's sliding makes sense he's got friction anyway um, that's the first thing that we wanted to correct 
We've got a second issue we want to fix as well, and uh, it pertains to the idle animation, so we'll wait for this to get done. And you can see my character is hovering, and this isn't just a placement thing, because when I move, it doesn't matter where he goes, he's hovering. And that's the problem here, is his, uh, his ground positioning is not set up for this particular sprite. Okay, so I go ahead and let's get out of play mode here. And here's the other thing that we can fix right now. Our, our character does not it's not representing our new character it's not updated so let's drag in a new sprite that's gonna represent our character and I'm gonna go just to the idle animation here or the idle sprite and uh, let's see if I can find it here and uh, let's go ahead and just grab the very first idle sprite and with my player selected up here I'm gonna take this idle sprite and I'm gonna drag it into the sprite renderer and I'm going to drop it in there. And now we just swapped out our sprite there. We can actually see the positioning of everything. And now I can start to make some adjustments. You probably haven't yet, but let's go ahead and drop down the player layer in the hierarchy. And you'll see that there's some stuff that's buried in here. All kinds of hidden stuff, little little treats here. So our, here's our first ground point. These are what interact with the colliders. And they basically tell... Um, the scripting when our character is grounded so that he can do all the ground animation and they also tell our character um, when uh, he's up in the air too and where he should be standing when he interacts with the colliders so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these ground points and move them in so that they are right on the edge of his shoe here roughly and uh, that's the first one and all I did was I clicked on the move tool and positioned it I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Y value of that and copy it and I'm gonna come over to the other ground points here and I'm gonna paste in that Y value command V so they're all the same and then I'm gonna take that out to the edge of his shoe here okay right with the edge of it because when he gets to the edge of the platform I do want him to fall off and let's paste that Y value in there again and now this one's going to be just smack dab in the middle between his feet. So when he's running, there are moments when uh, the sprite, he has footfalls that happen right about this point. And now we should be all consistent. Uh, here's the problem, though. We've got some ground points that we've updated, but we have not updated them with the script. So I'm going to go back to player, and I'm going to take these new ground points, and one by one, I'm going to drag them into my player script. You may not have noticed this over here, a whole bunch of fancy scripting that's put into your player to make them move and interact and everything. Um, with player selected, I'm going to click and drag the first one in. And let's grab the second. Ah, did it again. Second one. Drag that into the second slot there. And, well, third time's a charm. And here we go. And drag that into the third one. Boom. All right. So we're all good there. And I think we're all updated. Let's go ahead and push play. All right, now we still got something going on here. I know what it is. All right, so the ground points are updated, but our collider is not. So let's go ahead and get out of this mode here. And let's update our collider. So we've got a box collider that's on our character. We can go ahead and edit that in the player so with your player selected in the inspector area down here we've got a collider All right now this collider uh, basically tells when the character is going to be um, interacting with the ground and right now that's exactly where he's interacting is smack dab on the platform there we want to move this up so it's right at the foot level here in fact we should probably tweak this in so that it's at the edge of his feet as well okay and then let's take the other one other side out a little bit and let's take that up just a smidge in there and voila we've got that going on now we've got another collider that's on here that's a trigger okay and that trigger is is a totally different story we're gonna leave that on there um, because that's gonna keep us from um, it's gonna it's gonna interact with some other stuff later on here so don't monkey around with that one yet so again we just adjusted the box collider without the trigger and uh, yeah we should be good there let's go ahead and push play hey look at that 
Okay, not too bad. Now, we could probably move that up a little bit because when he runs, I mean, it looks like his feet are kind of going through that platform a little bit. So we could move that up or we could move up the targets a little bit or move them down, I should say. Um, but some simple adjustments so that he's actually standing on the platform. And when we jump to the others, same dealio there. Okay, As long as you've got your collider set up on those platforms, everything's working well here. Okay, not bad. A couple quick tweaks that are going to help you with um, setting up your player animations and uh, really customizing this so that it works to your new sprites. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.